Hey, welcome into day 22 of the 12 days of whiskey. Holy cow. Oh, it's with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Good to see you again. Today is a very special night with a very special guest and a special whiskey. So tonight, I want to start out with a song. And the song is actually called Better Days Ahead. And it was done by a guy named Norman Brown, who has a connection to Seattle. Uh, my good friend here, who I'll introduce in just a second. We've spent time at the Jazz Alley in Seattle and loved that place. So he played there. He's done some really good stuff. So I'll put the link to his song in the notes there and please take a listen to it. So now to our very special guest. I'm very honored to have around the fire pit my good friend, Eric Benson. Glad to be here, Kevin. Thank you for having me. <laughs> He has agreed to stop by and share his knowledge of what he thinks is cool about whiskey and this very special whiskey and just hang out. So, great to have you here. Thank you, Kevin. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for coming. This is awesome. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Me too. So, I want to ask you a couple questions here, if sure. you don't mind me uh, starting off. The first one is, what's your fondest memory of winter? You know, it's interesting. I actually thought about that today because we were looking ahead at, you know, uh, holiday time and where we're going to spend it. And we've always loved Central Oregon and, uh, you know, big trees down there and the snowfall and Christmas time. And I have a lot of memories of my uncles and grandfathers sitting around Christmas Eve, believe it or not, drinking bourbon or drinking whiskey. A couple other fellows are from the South and they definitely grew up loving their whiskeys and yeah. loving their bourbon. So. Uh, some of my fondest holiday memories are you know, family time around the campfire or family time around the fireplace with the grown-ups drinking whiskey and the kids just listening to them play songs and just enjoying family so time. Cool. I love family. And now we're those guys. Yep, now we are those guys. Awesome. All right, my next question is this. Yeah. Maybe a little connection with whiskey, but have you ever been to Utah? I have. Um, so I actually have a nephew of mine that uh, goes to Utah mm -hmm. State. Oh. Uh, and so I, uh, uh, he loves down there. I've been to Park City to go skiing a while ago, not recently, um, but I do love the Utah area, I mean, especially okay. those uh, five parks, you know, Zion and Bryce Canyon. Yeah. And great hiking down there. Utah is mm. an up and coming place, a place I'd like to spend more time for sure. Yes, I hope you're sensing a little theme here. Remember when I said these guys are one of my favorite distillers, Park City, Utah. Eric just said Park City, Utah. So really important for you to remember that because that'll be a destination as soon as COVID's done we're all going and this will be an awesome place to ski into the only ski in gastro or distillery just so you know uh, finally what's your favorite color <laughs> my favorite color well tonight my favorite color is whiskey glasses <laughs> right now uh, I, I love the color green you know living in the northwest for a long time you know see all the trees awesome yeah. A little oddball, but I figured yeah. I'd throw it in. All right, so uh, now on to the special whiskey of the night. This is super awesome. So, I, if you remember, I talked about this uh, Carbone uh, in Vegas inside the Aria. This is where I first had this whiskey. It is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite ones. It is expensive, so you know it's not your average drinking whiskey. Um, so definitely special occasion. This bottle is called the High West a midwinter's night dram and it's this particular bottle is act seven scene two so you won't find two different bottles alike unless it was all the same uh, bottling really cool it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys and then it's finished in oak um, port barrels so it's got a really good flavor so why don't we just try this i'm in okay so we poured some I would like us to both smell it, and then uh, one thing before we get too deep into this, uh, what I appreciate about Eric is that he has a very good uh, sniffer, and he has a very good tongue, so he can taste all the stuff. Like, you just got it, Eric. I don't, um, so I'm impressed, always. So, what do you smell? It's definitely um, a little higher alcohol. I'm not sure of the proof, but I would guess it's around 100. It's definitely not an 80 proof, I can tell by the smell. Mm. It's got a lot of alcohol. It's got a little bit, believe it or not, I got a little bit of fruit in there. There oh, is yeah. some like deep, spicy plum coming out. Yeah. But a bit of vanilla. Yeah. I think it's uh, probably been aged in some kind of French oak. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, 
that's what I smell. I smell the vanilla. I don't smell all, all the other things. But let's uh, let's okay. go on to the great part. Let's taste this sucker. Let's taste it. That would be actually a great fireplace uh, wine, for, or excuse me, whiskey for the holidays because it's got a little bit of cinnamon in the background, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I I felt like this was one of those things that's like the uh, caramel apple cider mm -hmm. that you get at Starbucks. Yeah, it's got a little caramel in it. There's a little, little that spice, um, malt, like a mold spice. Oh. But for a, for a double rye, that has got a nice soft finish to it. Yeah. And this is all, you know, they say on the bottle to put this just straight, mm -hmm. right, and drink it because it's such high quality. But you can do, when I had it, I had, I was a few whiskeys in, so forgive me, but I did have a ball rock in it, and that's the way the bartender said you could also try that. But definitely don't water it down. Um, so, I agree. Excellent. Well, listen, thanks again for coming by. and uh, Kevin, thank yeah. you for sharing this very special bottle with me. It's yes. always a pleasure to spend time with you. My pleasure. Always great. So a good reminder, spend time with your friends. Great friends. This is a great night for me. Great friends, great whiskey, great song. And I encourage you to come back to day 23. We're almost at 24 days of whiskey, people. This is a, an epic, epic coronavirus. So I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one of the 12 Days of Whiskey with Kevin.